Hello everyone, this is your 5 and welcome to the Code with my Sideshow Toy Review. And today is already looking at the 2008 release by Hasbro of the Target exclusive G.I. Joe celebrating the 25th anniversary Velco and Action Figure Review. And today's Velco and Action Figure Review looking at the Cobra Hestang and the Cobra Driver. Now, I got this straight from eBay, no surprise there, and this cost me like $30. Additional 30 more dollars for shipping because I live in Malaysia. I could have opted more cheaper this time, but it's not easy to find a eBay seller that actually ships worldwide, especially on the minion card, so I was forced to pay that amount of price just to get a minion card this time. I would have gotten the lose, but I would want to have everything complete, actually. Now, let's take a look at the front part packaging itself. At the one corner here, you've got a nice little Cobra logo surrounded by stars, and on top there, stated as Attack on Cobra Island at the bottom there. Now, inside the packaging, we have the Cobra Driver instead of his tank driver, and we have a blue his tank rather than the traditional black his tank. Now, it does appear in the Marvel G.I. Joe comics. Yes, there's blue his tanks with Cobra Drivers, this normal Cobra Driver piloting the blue his tank itself in the earlier Marvel comics, which is no surprise there. But most of the G.I. Joe collectors would actually treat this as, the, as his tank number three, because his tank three actually is painted in blue, which is kind of interesting. Now, at the background image itself, two hills has been bombarded with explosions, as you can see there, very nice. And for the packaging inside, you can see that it sort of elevates upwards. Well, trying to imagine that the his tank is actually climbing up the hill. That's how they wanted to package the entire thing, which is interesting. At the top section there, nothing that special, stated as G.I. Joe, and one corner here with the same logo as shown in the front. At the bottom there, we have a file card. Now, the file card stated Cobra Infantry Trooper, code name Cobra Driver. Here we have a smaller image of the Cobra Driver. File File name unknown, primary military specialty, vehicle driver, secondary military specialty, mechanical and electrical systems, birthplace, various countries, grade 05. Now, as stated in the write up, Cobra drivers are selected from the best and most evil of the Cobra organizations. Thousands of yearly recruits, each one is chosen for his physical strength and total dedication to destruction and mayhem. Cobra drivers are graduates of Cobra Battle School. Advanced Weapon Systems Training, Qualified Experts, all, co all Cobra Ground Vehicles, v Knowledge of All Advanced Weapons. At the bottom stated, Cobra Drivers are committed to the destruction of the G.I. Joe team. This specialized vehicle, battle vehicle can match the best of the G.I. Joe team's elite vehicles. Very nice. And one side here, you got a nicer image of the Cobra Blue His Tank, piloted by, well, a Cobra Driver and manned by another Cobra trooper of the two Diablo cannons and at the back here we got a nicer image of the Cobra driver which is the same image for the single carded Cobra officer with a different well colors here we got a nicer image of the blue his tank and the Cobra driver there now for the blue his tank here the features includes cannon swivel and elevate opening canopy, turret can hold one figure, platform can hold more figures, <laughs> in the bracket stated not included, that means the figures are not included, and at the bottom simulated treads with free rolling wheels underneath. Now at the bottom section here is the rest of the lineup, we have Night Spectre with Grand Slam, or Striker with Crankcase. Here at the bottom stated, the G.I. Joe team launches an all-out attack on Cobra Island after members of the elite team are captured. Cobra Forces sends out the mighty Cobra his time to blast the G.I. Joe team with firepower and defend their island empire. Very nice. So, without further ado, let's open up this packaging so we can molest the toys. Be right back. And we're back of the room figure and the vehicle and the rest of the stuff are from the packaging itself. So, let's take a look at the Cobra driver. Now, go the Cobra Driver for the Target Exclusive Vehicle Pack here doesn't come with a base stand. It doesn't come with a Cobra base stand. It doesn't come with any guns. It doesn't even come with a knife to store at the side of the tie there. Like so. But he does come with a helmet. 
a helmet that's made of a black plastic material, which is very soft material. And on the front section of the helmet itself, the symbol is painted in, well, in the dull white. There's a little bit of paint smudged at the edge there, but it's still alright. Then he does come with a web gear, which is very easy to remove. As you can see, like so. Now for the web gear, it's also nothing new. It's the same web gear that came from the well, the comic pack from Scar, the Cobra Officer, and the Crimson Guard comic pack. As you can see, it's the same thing. Of course, this is the Target exclusive that released in 2008, so this one actually came out first. So the entire web gear here is actually made of a black plastic material with very little amount of paint job. The buckle and two of the straps here. Now. There's a button inside and, and the buckle there to hook on. Other than that, nothing much to talk about with the web gear itself. So let's take a look at the figure's paint job. Now the figure's paint job is actually not bad if he wears the full gear itself. First of all, the Cobra driver here is bald. He has no hair. I guess Hasbro is trying to save money and not paint the hair itself. Now the entire head is made of a white plastic material as you can see there and yes the entire head is actually painted with flesh tone skin and a black mask eyes and eyebrows is also painted very nice the neck joint there is also painted in black now the collar buttons is painted in silver and they got a nice little cobra logo there however half of the body is not painted at all it's just pure plastic material except for the crotch area there now the crotch area is painted in a black camel the tie section is actually in white plastic material painted in black camel. Now you can see the buckles on this too is being painted in silver. Kneecaps is not painted at all, it's pure black plastic material. The lower legs here is made of a black plastic material except this section they actually painted with well, black camel. Now for the mold of the figure itself is nothing that spectacular because it's the same mold as the Cobra Officer or Cobra Trooper found in the single carded version or comic packs. However the colors for the well, Cobra Driver here is actually not bad looking. It, it, can, it tends to grow on you at times despite how pathetic low for the amount of accessories is there. Now let's take a look at the figure's articulation. The head can actually turn 360 degrees move slightly well side to side and up to down then the torso here can move forward back and turn to 360 degrees shoulder joints here can turn to 360 degrees and lift the shoulders this high elbow joint here can bend this far backwards and turn to 360 degrees wrist joint here turn to 360 degrees the problem with the wrist joint here on both sides is because they are supported by a very thin peg there or at least supported by very thin lower arms so when you try to have the figure wield a weapon especially a assault rifle or any kind that needs two hands to be wielded you tend to pull the joint apart at times or stress the joint so badly that it will break so I really don't like how they design the pegs for the wrist joints here now for the crotch area the hip joints here the legs can move forward but the crotch area, the cuts are not deep enough. So when you move the legs forward, it tends to spread the legs, well, pretty wide. And that's a problem with this figure because you have a hard time trying to place this figure inside the cockpit of the, well, the Cobra his tank, unless you really push the figure all the way in. Now the legs can move forward, back and to the sides, double jointed knee that bends this far. An ankle joint which I really hate because it's supported by, by a very thin peg there. It's a similar case with the wrist joint. So you can pivot the ankles downwards and upwards and turn to 60 degrees. But you can see how loose it is, how fragile it is. If you encounter problems like frozen joints, especially on the ankles, you might need to be extra careful trying to unfreeze the joints and not use too much force that you accidentally break the ankles. Now, the figure is fully equipped with his gear. If I'm going to give a rating out of this, now, black and white is actually not bad in colors. I actually like it. But the problem with this figure is that I really don't like 
the figure being well with the ankles and the wrist joint there being so well easily prone to breakage and second and second and foremost is that the figure doesn't come with any other accessories except for the helm and the web gear I would love to have this figure stand on his own base stand but he doesn't even have his own base stand so 3 out of 10 for the Cobra driver now next up we're gonna take a look at the Cobra his tank and his other stuff first his instruction manual now this is a single sheet of instruction manual the other side is all white now this sheet here instructs you on where to place all the stickers as shown like so then we have the sticker sheet nothing too complicated and not a lot of stickers to place on so it's quite easy move this guy on one side let's take a look at the hair tank itself now first things first we'll take a look at the colors there are absolutely no paint job involved for the blue hair tank it's just blue plastic black plastic and purplish clear translucent plastic for the hatch here so yes there are no paint job at all for this hair tank so let's take a look at the Hiss Tank's features. First of all, you have twin Diablo cannons, this two piece here, which can elevate upwards and forward, being supported inside with a singular pin there. Now, the pin is extremely thin, so I suggest not to well play around with the turret so much because it will happen the same way as the 1983 version of the Hiss Tank with the single well, pin there it, that supports the entire mechanism every time you try to turn it you stress the plastic pin and then you'll break second we have the well a swiveling 360 degrees off the turret itself as you can see but it's rather tight you can store one figure inside the turret itself then at the back of the head tank itself there's a platform with two pegs you can store two more figures or one more figure standing behind the platform next at the driver's seat here you got the hatch here well, there's one problem with the hatch is I really don't like it every time I try to open the hatch because it's being intended by this piece here every time you open it you tend to you know pop the entire hatch off so inside the driver's seat here you got the seating you got all the mechanism inside very nice and of course like always we'll place the figure in the driver's seat now there's a problem with this figure as i mentioned before because he has a well a problem sitting inside a his tank but all you have to do is just push the figure all the way inside and there you have it but i still prefer a his tank driver rather than a corporate driver now now Another, another feature for this his tank is for the back portion of the his tank you've got the hookup as you can see that now the hookup you can tow any trailer weapons like the his -Sig missile system the Cobra amps or the jungle Terra twin whirlwind guns very nice and one final thing for this his tank itself is the roller wheels at the bottom section here so let's roll it up as you can see the his tank here has no squeaking sounds which is a really good thing for me because it's not noisy very nice and that's all the features for the blue his tank now let's take a look at the details mode now the mode itself is not based on the 1983 mode but based on the 2004 mode from the Crimson Sabotage Crimson His Tank so it's quite interesting actually now you can see the details on the treads itself there's a lot of nice wheels going on a lot of mechanical stuff as you can see the armor parts very nice details of the inside of the driver's seat as you can see now very nice and let's not forget the dual cannons down there's also a bit of details down most of the details are actually sticker application but it's very nicely done overall I really like the blue his tank but I really wish they put more paint job details like 
well. Just like the His Tank Tree, His Tank Tree actually has the really dirty tread wheels there. I really wish they actually put details like that. And furthermore, there's the problem with the turret itself is that you cannot remove this turret out from the His Tank itself. And well, you can try to pry it open with because it's already snapped inside with the tabs. You can try to pry it open, but I'm not too sure how that's gonna work. So there's a pity that it's not based on the 1983 where you can actually easily remove this entire turret and then replace it with something else. But overall, the blue hair tank is actually very nice. So if I'm gonna give a rating out of this, I would say, well, I still give it a nice eight out of 10, yes. 8 out of 10 for the Target exclusive Blue His Tank. And I thank you all for watching. This is Lucy05, and I'm signing off.